This video is going to show you how to use data validation in your Google Forms so that the user cannot progress to the next page or submit the form until they have filled in everything correctly. Now this was originally created so you could get the uh, right type of data. For example, if you asked for someone's email address, it would make sure that they actually put in a valid email address. Or say for example you wanted a number, it would give you an actual number instead of spelling it out. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Um, and then I'll show you some of the things that I've done for these last ones. So I'm going to add my question and it's going to have to be a short answer. Uh, 2 plus 2 equals. Okay. Here you then click on data validation. If you're doing something like a breakout, don't forget to put it as required question as well. I want it to be a number. Um, if you go into text and stuff, it lets you choose like email address, number, and I want it to equal 4. Now if I don't put anything in here, then when they write something, if they write the wrong number, it's going to tell them you need to write 4. So I'm going to write my clue here, um, less than 5, more than 3. <sighs> Obviously this isn't what you'd actually put because, you know, it's a very easy question. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Click on the uh, I. Down to the bottom, if I try and put in three, it's going to tell me, it's going to give me that clue. You'll also see here, if I try and type words, it's not going to let me because I've already put in that has to be a number. If I go back to here, I'm going to actually just delete this one because this is a live uh, form I'm using in my Animal Farm breakout. And you can see some of the other clues that I have in here. So the answer for this one is Moses. And then I've actually given the clue how to find the answer. So follow the hammer and sickle to find the answer. When they follow the hammer sickle on my Google breakout page, they're going to go to a Google form where if they answer a bunch of questions, it's going to give them a clue for Moses. This directional lock feed box, so if they click on the food box next to the box, that's going to take them to a map. Um, so you can put in kind of cryptic clues. I think that's probably the best. You can see here, for example, um, I'm using the, the directional lock, which some people put as north, south, east, west. So I've actually given them those instructions in the question. Um, I could have put that in here, but I actually like putting those cryptic clues. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, that's quite simple. Cool. Enjoy it.